Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2009 Xbox 360 Media Briefing. Welcome to E3 and to the world premiere of the Beatles Rock Band. In fact, the video you just saw is the opening cinematic for the game. Hi. So in the early 60s, the world was pretty much divided into two groups. There were the Beatles, and then there was everybody else. And if you were under the age of 25, you definitely wanted to grow your hair long, get a pair of those pointy boots, and jump on over to the Beatles side of the fence. Now, the Beatles actually started many revolutions but one that rarely gets recognized or talked about was they launched the tech revolution. If you think about it, they came into a black and white world and exploded into psychedelic color. They came in with the 45 and they left with the LP as an art form. They even brought us from mono to stereo. They were always, always innovating and everybody else raced to catch up. And now on 9909, the same day their entire 13 album catalog is being released on CD and remastered. We're launching the Beatles Rock Band game, raising the bar on music gaming forever. So let's take a sneak peek with Alex in the Harmonics House Band.
Thank you, Alex. Um, now joining me is the infamous Giles Martin. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. At Abbey Road Studios, myself and engineer Paul Hicks have had the huge honor of meticulously reworking every one of these classic songs from the Mozart Masters, specific, specifically for this game, to give players the best experience. The game also brings music history to life by featuring never before heard studio chat from John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Today, we're very excited to reveal 10 of the 45 in-game songs that span the Beatles' epic recording history. And here they are, along with a look at the very first official trailer from the game. In addition to the songs on the disc, the game will also feature downloadable songs, including full albums, the first of which will be Abbey Road in its entirety, available shortly after launch. We're also <laughs> thrilled to announce that uh, the song All You Need Is Love will be available uh, for download exclusively through Xbox Live, and all Apple Core, MTV Games, Harmonix, and Microsoft proceeds from this song will be donated to Doctors Without Borders. Thank you, Alex. So it's my privilege now to um, acknowledge a bunch of folks involved in making the game. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge a great soul, a wonderful musician, um, an early fan of harmonics, and a champion of a Beatles rock band notion to the rest of Apple Corps. Please acknowledge Danny Harrison. <laughs> he would rattle his jewelry if he had any, but I don't think he does. Danny, thank you. Um, so uh, next I'd like to thank uh, all of our partners at Apple Corps who were with us every step of the way in making this game. They were really incredible, and, and thank you very much uh, to Apple Corps. Uh, we were also incredibly lucky to have the support, commitment, and undying enthusiasm of these next two individuals. 
who really donated their wealth of um, memories, their vault, and actually their personal artistic vision to make this a beautiful game. So please welcome Yoko Ono Lennon and Olivia Harrison. <laughs> Uh, we love you both. Um, now, none of what you've seen today would have been possible without the magic and genius of the Beatles. Their music will undoubtedly endure long after we're all here. And it's genuinely, uh, I get a little choked up, but it's genuinely been an honor to occupy the planet at the same time as these two individuals, and a privilege to introduce Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. <laughs> All right. Looks like they want us to talk amongst ourselves, Paul. Yeah, I think so. I what do you think, think of the game? I love it. I love it. You love it? Yeah. I okay. can't play it. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Say a bit more. Say a bit more. Yeah. Well, the game is good. The graphics are very good. And uh, we were great. Now, uh, it, we love the game, it's fantastic. Who, who, had, who would ever thought we'd uh, end up as androids? But um, I like the way I walk. Yeah, so thank you very much for having us here and uh, having us on your game show. <laughs> we love it. It's wonderful. Anyway, uh, God bless, peace and love. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Corporate Vice President for Xbox, John Shepard. Thank you, Paul and Ringo, Yoko, and Olivia. We're honored to support the important work that Doctors Without Borders is doing. And we couldn't be more excited about the game and the exclusive song, All You Need Is Love, coming to Xbox 360. Good morning and welcome to E3. I want to thank all of you here in person and the millions more around the world watching our live broadcast. Over the past year, our industry has done well in this uncertain economic climate. Perhaps this is because now, more than ever before, people want to have fun. They want to play games, enjoy their favorite TV shows, movies, and music. And they want to connect with each other, all from the comfort of the living room. Now last year, the new Xbox experience accelerated the transformation of our console into a true all-in-one entertainment device. Today, we're going to deliver even more. And today, it's all about showing, not telling. So you're not gonna see charts and graphs about sales figures or attach rates. Shucks. You are gonna see 10 world premieres of games that have never before been seen. We thought you'd like that. You're also going to see exciting innovations in, in entertainment and entirely new ways to connect with your friends. And if that's not enough, we're going to make a little history by showing you revolutionary new experiences for everyone. So enough of the telling. Let's get on with the showing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome legendary skateboarder Tony Hawk.
What's up, everybody? It is great to be here today. I am so excited to get the chance to introduce you to our new game, Tony Hawk Ride, and to unveil the final board design of the revolutionary skateboard controller to you. Here it is, right here. As you can see, it looks similar to a skateboard. Um, it's a little bit shorter, but uh, this thing is full of technology. It's got accelerometers. It's got um, infrared sensors here. It knows where your feet are. It knows where your hands are. You can come in and actually go for grabs. Um, you, can, you can lean it. You can, you can kick it up. You can actually put your foot on the side of it as if you're pushing along. Um, the whole thing responds like a real skateboard. And I, I really have wanted to do a video game with a skateboard controller for a long, long time, but it just felt like the technology wasn't there yet. And uh, I'm really excited that Robomoto figured out how to incorporate the latest technology and make a real skate game, because really, the best way to experience skateboarding is, as it's meant to be, on a board. The, uh, it's, the design's really intuitive. It'll allow anyone to grind rails, ollie, catch big airs off of vert ramps. Even if you've never set foot on a skateboard, we've got plenty of difficulty levels. And uh, I think this is going to deliver an entirely new type of social, physical gaming on Xbox 360. And it will allow players of all skill levels to battle for skate supremacy in time and trick-based challenges from the comfort of their living rooms. So check out this world-exclusive trailer. I think it captures the essence of what Tony Hawk Ride is all about. It features um, pro skaters Ryan Sheckler, Paul Rodriguez, Stevie Williams, Christian Osoy, and Lindsay Adams all checking out Ride for the very first time. And uh, I really feel like anyone can experience this. So um, check it out when it ships later this year. Thank you. To me, skating has always been the ultimate rush. I skate because it's in a way to express myself. It's actually catching air and flying. If you had an interest in skating, but maybe didn't want to put yourself in the position of getting injured, here's your chance. Finally, there's a game that you can play at home where you actually stand on the board, and uh, it really brings the experience of skateboarding uh, to a whole new level. Rocket, right here. Come on, here's the rocket. Ah! Oh, 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 <laughs> the board resembles a blank skate deck. The only difference is you're doing it interactively with a high definition video game so that your, your character mimics these motions on real skate objects. Vert ramps and rails and half pipes, ledges and stairs. Oh, we did it! Everyone's gonna like the game. It's fun, you know, it's something different. You can do all the basic skateboard maneuvers, flip the skateboard, push like you're skateboarding. You can grab the skateboard, turn the skateboard. The game has modes of difficulty, so if you're just beginning, you can get on it and just do the sort of turning motions and the game will sort of guide you into the obstacles. And then we go to different advanced levels. When I stood on the board in there and I got that sense of flow, I thought, wow, this is like the first time I could really, really get into a game. All right, well, I hope you'll take the opportunity to ride as well. Um, Activision has these up and running at X, uh, on Xbox 360s on the show floor at E3, and I hope everyone gets a chance to ride. Thanks, everybody. Have fun. See you there. Revenge is like a ghost. It takes over every man it touches. Its thirst cannot be quenched until the last man standing has fallen. This appears to be the work of the ultra-nationalists led by the Shadow of Zakaev, one Vladimir Makarov. The Kremlin, however, sees it differently. The Prime Minister has pledged full support to aid in any way possible. Zakaev kept Makarov in check. But no longer. The 
world's men of action will look and wonder how it came to this. He's got a contact in Rio. Don't you have a guy on the inside? He's gone silent. Makarov's reach is spreading. This can only end one way. You may be able to destroy me. But the beast will eventually come for you. Jason West and Vince Zampella. Well, thanks everyone. We're real excited to be here tonight. Uh, we have a lot we want to share with you, but since our time is limited and we know you just want to see the game, we're going to get straight to the action. So here is Modern Warfare 2. Stay here and spot me. Wait for my go. <laughs> All right. The ice is good. Follow me. See you on the fourth side. Hold on! Don't let go! Hold up. I'm 
seeing some activity on the runway. Looks like 20 plus for mobile heading your way. Roach, search the northeast part of the runway for the fueling station. That's the fueling station. You found it. Thanks, Jason and Vince, Infinity Ward has once again outdone themselves. The first Modern Warfare became a definitive Xbox Live experience, and with Modern Warfare 2, Xbox Live will once again lead the way. I'm pleased to announce today that Infinity Ward and Activision will release two Modern Warfare 2 map packs first on Xbox Live. Now, please welcome from Square Enix, Kitase-san, producer of Final Fantasy XIII, and Toriyama-san, director of Final Fantasy XIII. Thank you. Square Enix, Kitase. This is Toriyama. Thank you. I'm Yoshinori Kitase, and this is director Motomu Toriyama. It has been over 20 years since the first Final Fantasy was released in 1987. Over the last 20 years, Final Fantasy has grown to be one of the most loved RPG series worldwide and has sold over 85 million units. Last year at E3, we shocked the world by announcing that Final Fantasy XIII would be coming to Xbox 360. 
the first time a major new Final Fantasy installment has come to any Xbox platform. そして今日は Xbox 360で起動する Final Fantasy 13を世界で初めて皆さんにお見せしたいと思います。Today we are excited to premiere the world's first look at Final Fantasy XIII running on Xbox 360. それではご覧ください。Let's take a look. さてライトリングとサッツは敵軍の追撃を受けておりこの大きなメカに打ち勝たなければなりません Here we join our two rebels, Lightning and Suds, midway through a fight with a giant mecha boss. ご覧いただいている通りこれまで公表しているバトルシーンとは異なります As you will see, the battle scene is different from what we've disclosed in the past. Active time gauge が4つに増えていることに注目してください。ゲージのスロットが増えるほど、より大きな効果を持つ技や魔法、そして連続攻撃を繰り出すことができ、戦術の幅が広がります。One major difference is that we now have four active time gauges. The more slots we have, the more powerful skills and magical spells we can use. Then we're able to attack the enemy consecutively with wider tactics. ここで大技を繰り出して敵をやっつけましょう。世界初公開となる召喚獣オーディンを呼び出します。The enemy is tough to beat. Let's end the battle with a special attack. We are conjuring the summoned monster Odin, being revealed here for the first time in the world. 通常はこんなに早くは召喚を呼びませんが、今回は特別にお見せいたします。Normally, you can't conjure summons this early in the game, but we wanted to make an exception for this special first look. Thank you, Toriyama san. えー、本日初めて、えー、Xbox 360で動く「ファイナルファンタジー13」をお見せしたわけですがいかがだったでしょうか私たちはこの「ファイナルファンタジー13」を2010年の春には皆さんのお手元に届けたいと思います We hope you enjoyed this first ever look at Final Fantasy 13 running on Xbox 360 We're happy to announce that we are targeting a spring 2010 release 本日はありがとうございました Thank you very much Thank you, Kitase san and Toriyama san. This generation, the biggest blockbusters of every genre have made their home on Xbox 360. But what truly sets our platform apart is the diversity and the quality of our lineup of exclusive experiences. So from this point on, everything you'll see, every single game, demo, and experience will be available only on Xbox 360. So, to kick off our lineup of exclusives and to show you their latest title, please welcome to the stage from Epic Games, Donald Mustard and Cliff Blazinski. What's up, guys? It's great to be here at the newly resurrected E3. I'm proud today to announce the ep next Epic Xbox 360 exclusive. It's the first Epic Xbox Live arcade title. And it's being developed by our friends at Chair Entertainment under the creative leadership of Donald Mustard. Donald? The Seattle Complex. Our goal is to make the best of 3D game design. Games like Metroid and Castlevania, and then rip them into the next generation with modern de design sensibilities and cutting edge graphics, all powered by Unreal Engine 3. Now, Seattle Complex. I gotta play. I gotta play, so you're not gonna hear me anymore. <laughs> Shadow Complex. There you go. Exploration punctuated by moments of combat. You are Jason Fleming, an advertiser 
Now what Donald's doing right here is planting a grenade that he found earlier. This is crucial to the kind of game you have here. You find weapons and items that unlock different areas of this massive underground complex. It's important to note that environment is key. Donald could just shoot these guys if he wanted to, or he could use a more interesting approach, such as using the wires to zap them from above. You notice the game world, the map is absolutely enormous here, and Donald's going to actually flash forward to later in the game where he goes from being a hiker to a weapon of destruction with a full suit of armor. He has the foam gun right here, which he's using to create a staircase. You can use that to freeze your enemies or to create cover. You can also acquire different tools such as a hook shot or a triple jump, which allow you to have more mobility and go to different sections of the arena. The game is filled with tons of exploration, lots of intense combat, and a lot of secrets. There's over 120 hidden items to be found in the game world, and the campaign is over 10 hours long with a lot of replayability. Oh, and by the way, some pretty cool boss battles as well. Unfortunately, gotta love it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have to show you today. Look for Shadow Complex on Xbox Live Arcade this summer. We'll be demoing it all week at the Microsoft booth, along, along with uh, Gears of War 2 Dark Corners content. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Th thanks, Donald and Cliff. And I did say it was about showing, not telling, didn't I? This next title is something totally different, and it pioneers a whole new way to play on Xbox Live. The game is called Joyride, and it comes to you from our colleagues at Big Park, the newest member of Microsoft Game Studios. It's time to hit the road together. Trick out your ride. Catch huge air. and drive your avatar wild. Joyride. You can see that Joyride brings a new social experience to the energy of a kart racer. And it will be free to download and free to play so everyone can enjoy it. You can personalize your experience by buying cars, upgrades, and more. And you can share any racetrack you purchase with your friends, regardless of whether, whether they've purchased it or not. Joyride is coming this winter to Xbox Live. <laughs> Xbox 360 offers more ways to play than ever before. From innovative new games on Xbox Live to the newest chapters of your favorite franchises. The city is infected. You are the cure. Just remember. Neither do you.
Last time I saw my grandmother, she asked me was I still a praying man. I told her, yes ma'am. Well, she says, pray harder. Cause it ain't working. I ain't gonna die waiting on salvation. As long as we still got guns, we gonna fight. And if we run out of bullets... Baby, they gonna wish we had. Like any man, when he's pushed to his limits, he's capable of anything. When someone strikes at the ones he loves, he will take any steps necessary. He's looking for answers, for the truth. Dad? There is no walking away from us, Fisher. We made you, we own you, and we always will. He will stand by his convictions. Sam Fisher, you know, is dead. The man who played by the rules, who listened to the voice in his ear, he's gone. So watch your back. I can't stop him. No one can. This is bigger than your daughter. This is bigger than both of us. The people behind this. You can't hide from them! Who said anything about hiding? What happens next is up to you. Please welcome Max Bellon and Alex Parizo. Hi everyone. As you just saw from our trailer, Splinter Cell Conviction has changed quite a bit since the last time you saw it. And that's why Alex and I are really excited to be here today, to play for you our exclusive E3 demo. Get the hell out of here! Stay back, I'm warning you! I said Who killed my daughter? Sam has changed, and this time he's on a personal mission. This doesn't stop until you tell me. Okay, enough! You know what Coben is? Andre Coben! He drove the car that hit her. He's gonna kill me. In the city, the old mansion on King George Street, guards out front and on the sides. One of our objectives in Conviction is to keep you immersed in our world and make our narrative move at a fast pace. So our story unfolds in real time, projected in the environment, just like what you saw in the bathroom scene. And we do the same for your objectives. Check out this whole crew now. Then gave him a swirly. I don't know if you can believe it or not, but he's on his way here. Grandpa's? 
Fisher. Driven by his emotions, Sam is now the ultimate predator. His actions are fast, brutal, and when needed, lethal. And nothing shows this better than one of Sam's new abilities, the mark and execute. Each environment is built like a small sandbox, allowing Sam to choose where and how to infiltrate, giving him the best possible tactical advantage over his enemies. Yeah, I'm Fisher. Come on. Let's do it. The darkness is where Sam really shines. He can always hide from his enemies and prepare for his attacks. Gadgets have always been part of Sam's arsenal, and the EMP grenade is just one of the new tools at his disposal. Oh! Now that we've seen how powerful Sam is while being stealth, Let's see what happens when he charges through the front door. Bring him home. That was just a small sample of everything you can expect from Slinter Cell Conviction. And we have a lot to share with you in the coming days. The game will be released this fall exclusively on Xbox 360. Thank you. Thank you, Max and Alex. I said earlier that Xbox 360 has become the home for action games, for role-playing games, for sports games. One by one, Xbox has become the platform to play the hottest games in these popular genres. Well, today it marks the starting line for a new competition, racing. Our team at Turn 10 Studios is back with a clear mission, win the racing game. As you're about to see, Turn 10 has delivered. I'm proud to announce that in October, we're shipping the definitive racing game for this generation, Forza Motorsport 3.
Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Greenewalt. Good morning. At turn 10, we love cars. Forza Motorsport is inspired by all things cars. The memory of getting your very first car, the thrill of the Hollywood chase, the passion that Audi brings to this beautiful R8 V10. It's this love of cars that drove my team to create the definitive racing game of this generation. I'd like to welcome Amherst to the stage to show you the game. Now, as you can already see, Forza Motorsport 3 looks beautiful. But as the definitive racing game of this generation, we deliver more, much more. Thank you, Emirates. With action like that, Forza 3 delivers the thrills that our competition can't. With an all new graphics engine running at 60 frames per second, Forza 3 is the best looking racing game on any console. With over 400 manufacturers, 400 cars from 50 manufacturers, Forza 3 is the biggest racing game of this generation. With assists like one button driving and gameplay rewind, we make it easy for anyone to jump in. But as the definitive racing game of this generation, we deliver even more. Using Xbox Live, Forza leads the way in building community through player-created content. Forza's new features allow our community to connect, share, and create a larger experience for everyone. Thinking, you know what I mean? They can customize a car in the comfort of the living room, right there on an Xbox. I paint in Forza. It gives me total creative freedom. It is an easy way to express yourself, and the results are amazing. When Takata asked me to come up with a livery for the car, I leaned on the Forza community to try and generate some designs, and the result, honestly, is better than anything that I could have asked for from a professional design studio. We started out as just me, one person, it has grown into a garage of 30 guys. Our goal is to make other gamers who don't have the ability to paint or don't have the ability to tune to enjoy the game at a different level. I'm a professional skateboarder, but becoming a race car driver is definitely something that I have in my future. Basically, I'm gonna make a rock star car. Well, it's just car people finding other tribe members to experience car love and to have some competition, to so have some rivalry. There is no limit, because it's, it's everyone around the globe. It's Team Blackjack. At the end of the day, it's really showcasing a performance driving. It's all in-game, it's all live. To be able to coordinate with people in order to accomplish something is really the beauty here. So Xbox Live is basically the foundation of our whole team. Kids today are blessed. They actually have the technology to make almost like a neighborhood. They can actually go on Xbox Live and share different ideas with different kids all over the world. With a host of new community features, including the ability to create and upload high-def video, Forza 3 makes it easy to discover the latest content from these artists, tuners, and directors. Their passion makes your game better. Here's an example of what they can create using the video editor in Forza Motorsport 3.
Forza Motorsport 2 is the highest rated racing game of this generation. We're raising the bar once again. Forza 3 brings you what no other racing game can, the best graphics and physics, the largest roster of the hottest cars, the most thrilling action and approachable gameplay, the biggest creative online community. It's the definitive racing game, and it ships this October. Come by the booth for the ride of the show. Thanks. Please welcome Joe Staten. Hey, everybody. All right, you ready? Buckle up and prepare to drop. Latest intel reports Covenant troops are massing beneath the carrier. They're pulling back? Why? I'm not gonna find out way up here. Troopers, we are green and very, very mean! I take it back. Navy got his butt kicked. Hey, Romeo. Remember when I told you to shut your mouth? Yeah? Consider that a standing order. Captain, 15 clicks off the deck. On my mark. What did he just say? Mark! We're way off course. We're heading exactly where I need to go. But we're gonna miss the carrier. Radiation! Covenant to set up a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. It's a touch space rupture. You need to... Welcome to the city of New Mombasa, weeks before the start of Halo 3. You are the Rookie, an orbital drop shock trooper separated from his team. Now, since you're on your own, with a lot of wide open ground to cover, you'll want to stay alert for unexpected help. Luckily, ODSTs have access to special gear that Spartans don't, including two new sound-suppressed weapons and the visor, a low-light vision mode. Any fans of the old Halo 1 pistol out there? Yeah? If you like that one, you're gonna love this one. Okay, my heads-up display tells me I'm getting close to something important. So, let me kick the visor back on. See what we can see. Great stories are told in original ways. The detonator I found? It's a clue to the fate of another ODST, a guy named Dutch. Now I'm flashing back in time to fight from Dutch's point of view, and you'll flash back to other ODSTs throughout the game, piecing together clues until you solve the mysteries of New Mombasa. Hurry up. Look, you want to do this? Be my guest. But this ain't a job you want to run. Does that do it? Signal's good. Arm the other detonators and pull back to me. Come on, tough guy. We got to blow this bridge. Dutch, arm the other charges. What about those rays? 
Forget about it. We got explosives to set. Follow me. Arm the charges. Look out! That's the last one, Dutch! Come on, Super! Unlock the keypad! Keep it clean. Respect public property. If you don't let us trigger those charges, in about five minutes, your data center is going to be crawling with Covenant! About damn time! Do it, Trooper! Bridge call accepted. Have a pleasant trip. Just a brief glimpse of Halo 3 ODST. We'll be here all week showing more, including ODST's brand new cooperative game mode, Firefight. Halo 3 ODST will start dropping into stores worldwide September 22nd. But you know, that's not all. Another team at Bungie has been hard at work on a secret, top secret project. And today, I'd like to show you what they've been up to. Gamma Station, this is Fermi at RSO. Unconfirmed report of an in-system slit space rupture. Impossible. Check your source. Reading multiple pings below the orbital defense grid. Oh, this can't be happening. There's no mistake. It's them. Winter contingency has been declared. All units are mobilized and ready. This is CR 320. Prep for combat inception. What the hell was that? We're coming in hot. Hold on. We just lost our bird. Oh my god. What the hell is happening down there? Down here. Okay, just dropped off oh, my man. We'll overrun. We'll hold this position as long as we can. I need you in that fight, Noble One. Noble One, come in. Noble One, do you read me? This is Sierra 259. You got Spartans on the ground, sir. We're not going anywhere. Halo Reach Falls 2010, but for those of you who can't wait that long, when you buy Halo 3 ODST, you'll get an invitation to the Reach Xbox Live multiplayer beta. Well, that's it for me, everybody. Thanks. I'll see you at the booth for some ODST firefight. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Lake. Good morning. My name is Sam Lake. I'm a writer at Remedy. I'm here today to proudly introduce to you a good friend of mine, a best-selling writer, someone I have worked together with on a project for a long time. I'm confident that we can all agree that it has been well worth the wait. The following is all in-game our producer, Jay Ranke, will be playing Hitty Jay. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I came to the small town of Bright Falls on vacation with my wife, Alice. Now she's missing. It's my fault. As insane as it sounds, my latest work, a supernatural thriller, is coming true before my eyes. I'm trying to find the lost pages to make sense of what's happening. A horrifying dark presence has woken up. It's growing stronger. It's coming for me. I need to find Alice. Alan, wake up. Alan. We're here. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. Alan! Alice! My wife is missing. They took her! I found many pages. We can't talk here. Rusty knows something. He wants to talk. Oh, hell.
I had come here to meet Rusty. He knew about the manuscript, but I was too late. Help! Rusty! Something had taken Rusty. He had the pages on him. I had no choice but to follow. I could feel the dark presence all around me. It was taking over everything in its path. Rusty's screams were still ringing in my ears. I was desperate to reach him. Without the manuscript pages he had, I'd never find Alice. Thank you. I'm very happy to tell you that Alan Wake will see the light of day in spring 2010. Thank you. You've just seen an incredible lineup of exclusive games for Xbox 360. Now you're about to see the next wave of innovation on Xbox Live. Xbox Live is already home to the best game experiences 
a video library of over 18,000 movies and TV shows in the largest social network in the living room. And today, I'm proud to announce that music is coming to Xbox Live, starting with an exclusive partnership with online personal radio phenomenon, Last FM. With over 30 million active listeners in more than 200 countries, Last FM has revolutionized how people discover, enjoy, and share music. On Xbox Live, Last FM is tailor-made for the living room with instant access to millions of songs playing through the best speakers in your home. And best of all, Last FM will be available to Xbox Live Gold members around the world later this year at no additional charge. Now through Xbox Live, we're able to constantly innovate and bring you new experiences. By the end of the year, Xbox 360 will deliver more choices, better quality, and more social entertainment experiences than any other device in the world. Netflix has been a huge hit for our US members. And now we're gonna make the best way to watch Netflix even better on Xbox Live. You will be able to browse through categories and add movies to your queue straight from your Xbox without having to go to your PC. But wait, there's more. If you want to watch something right that instant, all you have to do is hit play. Uh, and we've heard from many of you around the world that want something similar. That's why we formed a partnership with Sky TV to bring instant watch movies and TV shows to the United Kingdom and Ireland starting this fall. This partner, it is cool stuff, I have to admit. This partnership also delivers a big first for home entertainment. For the first time ever, you can watch live TV from Sky directly on a game console, including Test Cricket and Premier League Football. This is a watershed moment for our industry. Live television delivered through a gaming console with no additional hardware needed. Now, when we launched our video store in 2006, it was the first time a gaming console delivered TV shows and movies for download. Today, our video store is the largest destination for on-demand, high-definition movies and TV shows in the world. And as popular as it is, you've challenged us to do more. We've heard you say, I can get a better picture on a disc, and I have to wait ages for my movies to download, and it's not available in my country. Well, today, we answer these challenges with a new standard in home entertainment. We are relaunching our video service as Zoom Video this fall, and this brings us three big innovations. First, we're upgrading our HD video library to the highest quality possible, full 1080p. Second, we're announcing that all of our movies and TV shows can be enjoyed instantly no discs, no downloads, no delays. And third, we are more than doubling the number of countries our video store is in, from eight to 18. Welcome to Instant On 1080p HD, where the picture has never been better, the experience has never been faster, and the audience has never been larger. When it launches worldwide this fall, Instant On 1080p HD will be the best way to experience movies and TV shows in high definition. But there's one more feature we're bringing to Xbox Live. What if we could make your favorite entertainment not only a great living room experience, but one that connects to your friends as well? Today, we are announcing that you'll be able to enjoy movies, TV, and music with your friends on Xbox Live at the same time even when you're not in the same living room. With Live Party, every gaming and entertainment experience can be a shared experience. Netflix, Sky, and Instant On 1080p HD mark the start of a whole new era in home entertainment. Now for our next announcement, 
we asked ourselves the question, how can we give you more ways to connect with your friends right from the big screen in your living room? You've used it on your computer, you've used it on your mobile phone, but you've never seen it like this on your television. Today, I'm excited to announce a partnership with Facebook. Now, to show you Facebook on Xbox 360, I'm going to turn it over to someone who has been friended many, many more times than I have. She's the producer, writer, and star of the Guild, Felicia Day. Thanks, John. Uh, it's a real uh, nerve-wracking treat for me to be here. And thanks to all of you for downloading the Guild on Xbox Live over the past year. Yeah, we're really, really excited to bring you season three uh, coming this fall. I've been a gamer for years, and social networking recently has kind of taken over my life. So that's why I'm excited to be able to give you the first peek at Facebook on Xbox 360. You can see right away that this is a Facebook experience that is custom made for your living room. The things that I like most are right up front, and they're really easy to find. So let's start with where I always start on my Facebook page with my friends. Here I'll be able to see all my Facebook friends, but what I really want to show is the friend linker. This is where you can see your Xbox Live friends and your Facebook friends together. From here you can link to their Xbox Live profile and even invite them to be your friend on Xbox. It's pretty cool. So next, how about photos? Well, now you'll be able to uh, look at you now you'll be able to look at your and your friends' photos straight from your Xbox. That's me. That's my dog, Cubby. He's a rescue. You didn't need to know that. And uh, I, it's in full screen, as you can see, so that's really cool. Uh, how about status updates? If you're like me, you're constantly checking your friends' updates and posting your own, even when you should be talking to the person across from you. Um, see, here's one I just posted, and here's my most recent updates from my friends. I'm a bit of a multitasker, so being able to see all my friends, browse new photos, and check out the latest updates right on my Xbox is really exciting and super convenient. But now, let me show you something totally new. It's called Facebook Connect, and it's going to change the way you experience games. If you're like me, you've always wished that there was an easy way to capture your greatest or your most noobish moments in gaming and share them instantly with your friends. You'll be able to post screenshots and even text straight to your profile in real time. You'll be able to play with Facebook Connect starting with a future version of Tiger Woods PGA Tour for Xbox 360. But, oh no, I'm not done. Thank you. <laughs> But just like you don't play only one game or watch only one movie, you're also probably plugged into more than one social network, or 25, like me. That's why, in addition to Facebook, Xbox Live is also bringing you Twitter. Again, Xbox has done a lot of work to give you a Twitter experience that is designed for the living room. I mean, I love being able to follow my friends and send my own tweets, no matter where I am. Actually, I've been known to walk into lampposts and fall off of treadmills because of it, but um, again, this is not about me. Now, I will be able to post from Twitter right from the console. Tweeting on Xbox is really simple, and I could share what I'm playing or watching or anything else. And everybody I'm following on Twitter is right in front of me, and it is updated instantly. So that's really cool, too. Uh, that's it. So two of my favorite ways to stay connected to friends and family are coming to the living room on Xbox Live. And what's really great is you won't have to wait long for either Twitter or Facebook because they'll both be coming to Xbox Live this fall. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here, and I hope you all have a great E3. Thanks, Felicia. So we've seen a lot so far. We've seen the best in games with the best lineups of exclusives joined by some of the biggest blockbusters in our industry. We've seen how Xbox Live is delivering the best in entertainment with music from Last FM and movies and TV shows with instant on 1080p HD. We've seen new ways to stay connected to your friends with Live Party, Facebook, and Twitter. And we've seen it all in one box, Xbox 360. 
but we're not done yet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President of Xbox, Don Matrick. John, this morning's announcements were truly historic. All those blockbuster games are amazing. We're offering things that no other console can match. But it seems we're missing one crucial piece of the puzzle. What's the one blockbuster franchise that every Xbox 360 owner has always wanted to play? <laughs> Hi, Dom. <laughs> Hi, Dom. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, my honor to introduce the creator of Metal Gear Solid, Hideo Kojima. Uh, it feels great to finally stand here on the Xbox 360 stage. Today, it is my pleasure to announce that I'm bringing the Metal Gear Solid franchise to Xbox 360. Yeah! Woo! I can confirm that the next major release will be called Metal Gear Solid Rising, and that development is currently underway to the Xbox 360. Woo! Yeah! Kojima-san, we are honored to welcome the Metal Gear franchise onto Xbox 360. We can't wait to see what the next game holds for Solid Snake. But Dom, I didn't say anything about Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid, rising. Raiden is back. Woo! Uh, unfortunately, I can't say more now, but I can promise you that it is a completely new Metal Gear experience, and you can look forward to many great things. Wow. Kojima-san, with Metal Gear on Xbox 360, we can finally say that our platform is complete. Thank you so much for coming and sharing the news today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ten years ago, a group of visionaries at Microsoft sparked a video game revolution. It started with our first console, Xbox, and an online network called Xbox Live. The experience evolved with Xbox 360, the first console to deliver high-definition graphics, online gaming, and a social entertainment network, all in one box. Now, here at E3, we get the opportunity to dream the next dream, to create new experiences that will drive the next wave of growth and creativity for Xbox and our industry. People ask me, can you add a motion controller? I tell them, of course we can. Indeed, controllers will continue to evolve as we've seen with guitars, wands, and nunchucks. But here's the problem. For far too many people, the controller is a barrier separating video game players from everyone else. With this in mind, we asked ourselves a new set of questions. Can we go beyond the controller? Can we deliver games and entertainment that everyone can instantly enjoy? Can we make you the controller? We can.
So, you've come back for more, Ian. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> this should be good. Let's begin. Are toast. Go to the pit. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Okay, I'm ready. Create a finale like we've seen in this championship. She sets it up. Go! Scan. Play. Queen Pacera. Hey, so did you get adjusted to the party yet? No. Oh my gosh, it's in a week. Here, you have to see the one I found for you. That's the one. I love it. You should get it. See you tonight. For 500 points, what is the answer? Ian Dixon. Millard Fillmore. Millard Fillmore is correct. Yes. Now a 200 point follow up question for the Beckett family. How many push ups can Chuck Norris do? Play movie. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're excited to share with you Project Natal. Natal is the current code name for a revolutionary new way, new way to play where the only experience you need is life experience. What you just saw is a small glimpse of our vision for the kinds of amazing experiences that Natal will enable. With a breakthrough sensor that tracks 3D movements and recognizes voices, this is controller-free games and entertainment. When it launches, Natal will work with every Xbox 360 we've sold, and every Xbox 360 will sell in the future. We can leap into a new era of interactive entertainment without having to launch a new console. Over the last few months, we've been sharing Natal with our creative partners, and the response has been everything we hoped for. I'd like to welcome one of those creators to the stage. He and I have a long history discussing the future of interactive entertainment. While we've been evolving the industry with better graphics, blockbuster games, and connected experiences, he has been pushing us to go beyond. He's a visionary director, a humanitarian, and yes, also a gamer. Please welcome 
Steven Spielberg. Thank you, Steven. Steven, I'm honored you join us today to lend your support for this exciting project. Thank you, it's my honor to be here. Um, you know, Don, from the day Don and I met a decade ago, uh, we've been asking a crucial question, which is how can interactive entertainment become as approachable as all other forms of entertainment? Uh, everybody loves books and music and everybody loves movies, but the vast majority of people are just too intimidated to pick up a game controller. Yeah, that, that's right. If you haven't grown up playing games comfortable with your thumbs, it's, it's a little daunting. That's true. And despite the size of the industry, still 60% of households do not own a video game council. And Don and I have always agreed that the only way to bring interactive entertainment to everybody is to make the technology invisible. And, and only then can we shine the spotlight where it belongs, which is on you and the fun you can have with a technology that recognizes not only your thumbs and your wrist, but your entire being. So two months ago, Don shared with me the Natal experience, and the gamer in me went out of my mind when I got to really be interactive with this. Uh, I think more dramatically, uh, I felt like I was present for an historic moment, a moment as significant as the transformation from the square-shaped movie screen to Cinemascope and then to IMAX. So as a creator, I, I could suddenly envision a new way of personalizing gameplay, the gameplay experience, making it possible to even change the paradigm of storytelling and of social interaction. And I think what Microsoft is doing is not about reinventing the wheel, it's about no wheel at all. So, Don, <laughs> congratulations for this landmark achievement. Good luck to you. Thanks very much, Stephen. It's great to have you here. And, and we're excited to see what you and your teams create in the future. We'll come up with some good stuff. I'm certain of that. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. A revolutionary way to play, a new era of interactive entertainment, a new world of possibilities. You're probably thinking, these are bold words, but how much of this stuff is real? Well, here to show you more, please welcome the creative director of Project Natal, Kudo Sonoda. All right, thanks, Don. Um, so, <laughs> thank you. So Don challenged us to think beyond. And what did beyond really mean to our team? Well, we wanted to build experiences that no matter what your age or gaming ability, you could instantly jump in and have fun, while providing core gamers a level of control they never dreamed possible. Experiences where you have total control over your in-game character just by moving your body or using your voice. You have control over your avatar in the most natural way imaginable. So we got some early prototypes that we want to show you that really illustrate our vision. So the first demo I'm going to show you is a demo of the dashboard. With Natal, even navigating the menus becomes a magical experience. So one of the coolest things about the dashboard now is that the Xbox instantly recognizes who I am and signs me in automatically. So this type of facial recognition has never been seen in any consumer electronics product. Uh, next, check out our full body motion capture. So as you can see, when I start making movements with my avatar, it instantly mimics me on screen. You ever wonder what the bottom of an avatar shoe looks like? Well, bam, there it is. All right, so let's get in and navigate the dashboard. So I can now choose between different categories in the dash with just a simple swipe of my hand. Or I can also choose between different menu options by moving my hand left or right. I can now go anywhere in the menus, no controller required. But let's launch one of our other technology demos and see what Natal can really do. This tech demo, it's a full body athletic and competitive activity that we call Ricochet. So let's jump in. 
All right, so the great thing about Ricochet is how fast anybody can jump in and start having fun. There's no controls to learn. You already know how to play the game just by knowing how to move your body. The simple point of this game is to destroy the bricks at the end of the hall. It's like a 3D breakout where your body controls the ball. So Abigail, why don't you take it away? So you can see right away the things that can only be done with Natal. Abby's got full control of her avatar just by moving her body. No controller required. But hey, this demo, it's not just about waving your arms. You can also move around freely in 3D space. So we don't have to set any of the movements for you in the game. She's free to move wherever she wants. She can move in and out to hit the balls harder. She can move left and right to keep the balls in play. And when you combine this kind of full avatar control and the ability to move around freely in your living room, you're gonna get true physical play. Nice kick serve, Abby. So besides being super fun to play, Ricochet also keeps you in great shape. You can see by the nature of the game, she's constantly moving around. With all the multi-ball, she has to keep extremely active to keep the game going. This isn't a game where you end up on the sofa just using some kind of preset waggle commands. All right, nice job, Abby. And now with the power of the 360, developers get the full body tracking and the precision to build deep layers of gameplay. So we're using real world physics to calculate how each ball reacts to her body. So she can aim to hit those multi-ball power-ups you see down at the end of the hall, or you can just add more power by hitting the ball harder to generate all those fireballs you see on screen. Awesome job, Abby, let's give her a hand. So Ricochet is currently single player, but our technology will also allow us to track multiple people so we can make all games a multiplayer as well. So this next tech demo we're gonna show you highlights the purely creative and collaborative types of experiences you can build with Project Natal. We call this demo Paint Party. Paint Party is a 3D art demo where you can use your full body motion and voice recognition to express, express your inner creativity. So to show off Paint Party, let's welcome Darren Bennett, a creative director at Microsoft Game Studio. Hey everybody, thanks Kudo. So uh, up on our canvas here, we have our inspiration image. It's an African elephant on the plains of Kenya. So I'm feeling inspired, uh, let's splat. So you see there's my big canvas. That's where we're gonna paint our background. Uh, light blue, I'm gonna slop around some paint with my bucket throw here. That's my sky. And then I think I'll put a uh, great big cloud up in the sky, white. So I'll throw another bucket up there. There's my cloud. Now I'm gonna go to the, some one-handed gestures and uh, paint some mountains in the background, blue. Okay, all right. There's my mountains. Now let's put, uh, let's put some earth down. Dark brown. Oh, there we go. So painting my ground. Then I'm gonna want some brown. And I'm gonna just lay down a little extra texture on there. And then I get some uh, light brown. All right. A little more texture and color in there. Uh, and then I think I want a tree line in the background. Could I get some green? All right, there's my tree line. So I think that's a pretty awesome background, but uh, not quite satisfied yet. I want to put a, tr a tree up in the uh, foreground. So could I get brown and make my trunk? Sweet. All right, now uh, I'm gonna put some palm leaves on it. Uh, green. So, there we go. Little finer strokes with my hand. Put some palm leaves on there. Not even sure there are palm trees in Kenya. But there we go. Okay, so I'm stoked on my background. And now I wanna make the elephant. And so I'm gonna say pose. That brings in my stencil paper, and you can see I can use my whole body, make any kind of crazy pose I want, and if you have any friends or family in the living room, you can invite them on in, 
and they can help you make some art as well. And since I'm making a four-legged animal, I need some help. So, Abby, would you like to come back up and help me make my elephant? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so there's our elephant. All right. Let's get to have a little snack. Right? Check it out. Have a little grass. Tastes good. Okay, and so now we're going to take our stencil. So, ready? Cheese. All right, so there's our elf. Thanks, Abby. Okay, so now we're going to paint them in. Elephants are gray. Throw a couple more buckets up there. Now I'm going to sandwich my uh, stencil with my background when I say reveal. And there's our gorgeous masterpiece. Thanks. All right, great job, Darren and Abby. Let's hear them for them one more time. So as you can see, when it's all, we can deliver experiences that can't be done in any other medium or on any other console. We got full body control of your avatar, being able to move freely around in 3D space, using your voice naturally as a part of the experience, and all without a controller. Project Natal work with all Xbox 360s and development kits are arriving at our partners today. And with that, I'll turn it back over to you, Don. Great job, Kudo. We're excited to see all the different ways artists can use Natal to build experiences never thought of before. Now let's take a look at what happens when you put Natal in the hands of a master. Please welcome the creator of Fable 2 and president of our Lionhead Studios, Peter Molyneux. Thanks, well, I'm sure you agree this it's pretty revolutionary and you know, I, I want to just say one thing to you, and that's the word interactive. Surely we've been making interactive games for 20 years, haven't we? Well, 30 years. Well, no, I don't think we have. Because that thing in our hands, that thing that's evolved in our hands and got more and more complex and got more and more buttons, actually has been the biggest barrier to what we want to create. Because what we want to create is a connection to our worlds. And that's what I believe Natal does. And what, if you leave with uh, anything today, then leave with this thought. What designers and what this industry does with Natal will change the landscape of games that we play. Anyway, we've been playing around with it at Lionhead for a few months now. And a week ago, a film crew came out and filmed uh, this video. Why don't we take a look at it now? Science fiction writers, filmmakers, they haven't imagined what we're able to do today. We've been experimenting with something here. I'd like you to meet a boy called Milo. He's a character that can recognize us. He can recognize our faces. He can recognize our voices. He can recognize emotions in us. And this is Claire. She's going to introduce you to Milo. Hi, I'm Milo. How are you doing? Hi, Claire. You OK? Actually, I'm a bit nervous. You? Nervous? I don't believe it. This is the first time that thousands of people are going to see this. Thousands of people? Here we're seeing Claire being recognised. And the emotion in Claire's voice being recognised. And that emotion reflecting in Milo's face. Those are all being seen for the first time. So listen, I was thinking today you should let me beat you at football again. That is if you finished your homework. You have finished your school project. What okay? happened there? is that Claire knew Milo so well, she knew when he was worried about something. The head was down, he wasn't looking at the camera so much, and this is about you meeting a character, a person. Well, why don't I help you with yours? Then yours will be brilliant. Hmm. All right. I could just try to catch some fish, draw some pictures in my journal. Maybe I'll do OK this time. I think that's a good idea. Lift off! Ooh. Don't know till I try, do I? Exactly. See, I've got everything we need. Well, great. Let's get started then. 
You've got to put these goggles on. Goggles? Put them on like this. Okay. What? Like that? Claire has been thrown a pair of goggles. Notice what she did. This wasn't acted. She felt the need to reach down for those goggles. Now, everybody, every single person that has experienced this reaches down because they feel so connected to Milo's world. Cool. So what are we doing? Do I have to stand at the edge? Go on, put your hands in. It's not too cold. Ah, I bet the fish think we're a monster. Cheeky. <laughs> Swish the water about a bit. <laughs> There Claire is, in Milo's world. She's in that pond. Every hand movement is being recognised. Being able to touch fish, being able to swish the water with her hand. Everyone who's experienced it, the hairs are standing up on the back of their head. Now, what's about to happen is some real magic. Well, you're good at drawing. They're only fish, but they're trickier than you think. Well, here, I'll have a go. Right. I'm going to do a body and a tail with a big fin and a smiley face. There we go. What do you think? Look at what just happened. Orange. Claire That's drew a picture on a piece of paper. The piece of paper was held up to Milo. Natal recognised the piece of paper, scanned the piece of paper in. Milo looked at that piece of paper, recognised the shape, recognised the colour okay. and able to get on with his project. This is true technology that science fiction has not even written about. And this works today, now. So, what we've chosen to do with that technology has been a dream of mine for 20 years. We have chosen to create an experience where you can meet what I believe is a real character that understands you, that understands your voices, your emotions, that's fascinated about your life. Now, you may, you, look at, you may look at that video and wonder whether it's true or real, but here's the fact. We're showing this behind closed doors at E3 to a selected audience, and that selected audience will be able to meet Milo themselves, and will be able to talk to Milo and interact with his world. Thank you very much. I, ho I hope you agree. This is a landmark in computer entertainment. Thank you, everybody. That was amazing. Thank you, Peter, and the team at Lionhead. Well, we hope you agree that it's been an incredible morning. We promise to bring you the best games, exclusive entertainment experiences, and new ways to share all of this with your friends. And we promise to make some history. I think you'll agree that this is a watershed year, not only for Xbox 360, but for everyone who loves games and entertainment. The break with the past is clear. Before you were offered a handful of core hits, now Xbox 360 is home to all hit genres and every hit franchise. Before, you had to buy a disc, a disc player, to get the best quality video. Now you can enjoy instant on 1080p HD, no disc, no download, no delay. Before, you played games with everyone on Xbox Live. Now on Xbox Live, games, movies, and music can be shared with your friends no matter where they are. Before, there was a barrier separating video game players from everyone else. Now, with Natal, Everyone can join in using the best controller ever invented, you. The future of games and entertainment is happening now, only on Xbox 360. Thank you, and have a wonderful E3.